Storm Tom. I'm gonna hit the music. Oh, you might want to uninvisible too, so you can <laughs> hit the switch. Today I'm on the old. PML, we have Tom Fortress 2 versus Pug and Chug. This is Gunship on the PML. Here we go. There's the starting ticks. We're off. So like I said before, uh, Pug and Chug really hasn't done well in any of their <laughs> matches in the past. Uh, we'll see if they can make something happen here. One sec, guys. Home Fortress, we have one person the... going for beds, one person going for arrows. Raise the volume a little bit. I mean, Vexel here aren't overpowering the stream. Okay, so let's see. Both teams have a player going for the beds. It looks like they actually are dedicating a sniper to the top on Tom Fortress 2. That's kind of interesting. Um, oh, Lucandus is going for the rush already. Oh, that might might be why. Maybe uh, Gearwax is going to wait. He's just covering, and then maybe he's going to jump down there. Oh, and Lucanus remembering. Ah, very good. So he's going to get in. here really quick. Oh, look at this. Oh, and they have no one waiting. He's no one waiting. Surprise. And this is so... This is what Tom Fortress does. They do this every game. How do people not know to expect this at this point? I don't know. Like, just... If you have to have a player on deck, I'm sorry. You have to have a player watching. So like Matt here should have Matt should already be yelling and saying, "Oh my god, spy in the base. There's a spy in the base. I think he's got our stuff." Oh. Looks like oh. Lucanus is just going to barely get out of there. Gearwax is really low too, but so is Matt. One shot from either of them and they're going to go down. Lucanus was being sniped. I'm not sure where from. I saw him take an arrow. But uh -oh. I can't uh -oh. find Gearwax. Oh, Gearwax gets Matt before Matt can get him. He's going to go down, and I don't think he got to set his bed yet. I think he was too uh, <clears throat> distracted there. I think so. Oh, Lucanus is taking one of the beds. I think he's going to set up a bed inside the enemy base. We've seen him do it before. If, eh, if he was going to do that, why wouldn't he have done it? Uh, what I'm questioning is, what's the point of really going over there? And then, you know, when the core is completely vulnerable, not going for a core. Like, he was taking out the supplies, but I I understand. Like, it makes sense what you're saying that they should he should have gone at least to try to take out one of the cores I, first. I guess well, if he did get all the supplies and get back, I guess that in itself is pretty big, especially if he took all the swords, because that just eliminates all their iron swords. Um, the only thing left in their chest is there seems to be a stack of, of soul sand, and in the other chest, a stack of bows. Whether I think that. Um, Pug and Chug actually placed those in there after the fact, but Looks like I'm not... Where's Q-Ball placing this TNT? Oh, is he going for the diamond? He must be going for the diamond, oh, yep. he did. He's going for the diamond. Meanwhile, Lucanus is sneaking into the back of the base, and I don't think they see him. Notorious is just here plinking arrows. He definitely doesn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lucanus setting up his spawn. This that is, is really a interesting. spot for a spawn. <laughs> I have not. We have not seen a team do this yet. Oh, he's gonna build a little staircase. Oh. Matt's really low. I don't know if Lucanus has a sword. I haven't seen him. He picks up a bow though. Oh no! But he now has. He has their entire team on them, so he's now running back. Oh, hiding in plain sight. He's gonna die, but it's no big deal to him. He just loses some soul stand. Lucanus was taken out by Matt. I think that was actually Lucanus' plan, was to be taken out so that he can... They would think he's... Un he ...under their dead. nose. Yeah. I see oh. Barler setting some TNT somewhere. I think he's setting up a cannon. Yeah, he's setting up a cannon. Oh, this could be pretty deadly. They got two players on that side of the ship. Barlor is also pretty good with this uh, cannon. Barlor's taking a lot of damage. Did he end up getting the water set? Um, oh, let me, he doesn't have the water set. Oh, no, he doesn't. However, these cannons are now made out of soul sand, so you can't just punch the soul sand out and put the can water in from behind. Another change that we felt was kind of important because the water, putting water in the cannons was just a bit too difficult before. It made it really less rewarding to even use cannons because you would have to go out in the open or punch through an iron block, which took a good 20 or 30 seconds. Lucanus is inside of Pug and Chug's base, currently running their team through just having them chase him oh he's taking the he's taking the ladder up to the crow's nest I'm wondering what he's trying to do up there though 
Oh, well, looks like he doesn't he's have actually any just destroying their lat. He, is he destroying their path to the crow's nest, or maybe was that just for, for an easy escape? Oh, maybe but he's collecting. He's definitely... Maybe he's collecting the ladders. Maybe I he wants he the is. ladders for his spawn. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Oh, that would be very smart. Although I gotta say that uh, uh, Pugginchuck is gonna be ahead in the armor here. Uh, Tom Fortress 2 is just now working on getting diamond. Barlow is working on it, but he's gonna be way behind because if we look over here, Pugginchuck has almost all of the, their diamond. Page currently working on getting the enchanted bows. <clears throat> I'm always surprised when teams take that long to get the bows. Like, I guess yeah, I guess they did have two m members completely dedicated to um, offense with Gearwax on deck. Actually, where is Gearwax right now? What is he doing? Oh, he's in the. He was nest. in the underbase. So yeah, he's also still oh. completely on offense. Meanwhile, we have Lucan. Lucan is hiding oh. somewhere in the base. I've lost track of him too. Lucanus is currently in row, in line for the crow's nest. Uh, just taken out, actually. Yeah, by... he was just taken out by Notorious, getting caught off guard. Well, that means he's respawned back at at their base. So I wonder what he's what he's planning. I didn't actually see him spawn. Did he just quickly go somewhere? I'm not sure. He is sneaky, man. Uh, oh yeah, he just went right in. Oh no, he didn't. He, oh, he's he in the didn't other spawn base. at his bed. I'm just kind of peculiar. Or maybe maybe he I think his bed might not have enough around it for him to, to spawn him to there. spawn. Well, we've seen him spawn there once, though. But then he went and destroyed. Oh, part he of, destroyed uh, one of the blocks because he needed them. Yeah. So I, I think he's actually kind of obstructed his uh, spawn bed there a little bit. Well, Gearwax is taken out by the other sniper. Well, Lucanus is now on deck. Oh no, he's trying to. He's moving the bed, so he, he's <clears> going <throat> to put the bed in an even more aggressive position here. Nobody oh, on deck to even spot this. Although there is a sniper. Notorious oh, should be looking for this. Oh, I, I like the placement of his bed. I've seen teams use that on their own sides. Haven't seen you them know, use it on you an know enemy what's, base. What's funny, though, is if the team doesn't know that's his bed, they might think it's one of theirs. There's nothing that really distinguishes which beds are yours. So if teams aren't very aggressive in saying, you know, this is where I'm going to put my bed, you know... Making it known to they the won't team, know but... if yeah they won't know whose bed is which. I think he's gonna go for uh, oh, punching the glass. Bed. Yeah, I think he's gonna try and punch the glass. He's just trying to see if he can get in there and attack. Uh oh oh. Oh. He's trying to oh, 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 oh. oh. gets in there. However, Matt see Matt's oh, catches him oh. a golf card. Sneaky, but uh, Matt's gonna find him. Cue now, ball coming the... down, so he's already alerted the guards. Would have been smart on Lucanus' part is to go and take. Uh, some of their supplies from the bed from the bed chest here still have about seven potions and several stacks of chicken. He could have taken that and really hurt them on healing. Yeah, it, you know, there's not. It doesn't take that long to punch out a chest. I'd really like to see players when you're raiding just punch the chest. Everything will pop out. You can pick it all up instantly. That's the, that's the quickest way to raid a chest. Oh, Lucanus is just being very crafty. Notorious is following him, but he's really low. Oh, he actually gets taken out. Oh. I don't think he. I don't think he can beat Cue Ball. Although, because of his positioning, Cue Ball doesn't notice. There's no ladder there. Although he does end up taking out Lucanus, who's gonna end up spawning right over here, though. <laughs> Completely oh no, he doesn't. A team. Oh no, no, no. Yes, he's, he moved his bed. That's right. He did. Oh no, and there. Oh, I think he saw him. Notorious is gonna see him though. Him. Oh no, Cubal did not see Lucanus. No, he Although didn't. there is plenty of people inside of their base and they are going to take out Lucanus and there he goes. So Lucanus is buying a lot of time, however, Pug and Chug is all in diamond armor and I don't see diamond armor coming up for Tom Fortress 2. In fact, Gearwax, why is he still with no armor? I, I don't understand. He's... Gearwax often doesn't use armor, I find. Um, Barlor has created some diamond armor, which he's wearing uh, while he guards the core. It seems that he's uh, staying back. I, I think they're just... Oh, no, I, don't I think they're banking on a sneaky win here. 
Someone destroyed the chests inside of um, Tom Fortress's base, although the items are still sitting here, so I'm not sure. I haven't happened. I haven't seen a Pug and Chug on their base yet. Pug and Chug's been playing really defensive. It looks like they're moving the chest into one big so. chest. And I, I it looks like Lucanus has moved all of the uh, general supplies onto their ship, which means they're not going to have any more food for Pug and Chug. And the only food they're going to have is whatever they have on them. It's pretty significant, because without food, you can't regenerate health. And that just makes, uh, even in diamond armor, archery damage a lot more powerful. Because although, you know, you might not be able... Yeah, I think you do about three hearts of damage or so before burns with the bow. So, I mean, it takes it takes a couple shots to maybe kill a diamond armor. Actually, it takes... I think it's three damage after fire. But, um... Without food to regenerate that, you will just die in four hits. So, like, if, you ha if you're full of food and you're regenerating, you know, it's like five or six hits or more if, you know, you just hide behind a wall and wait for ten seconds. Uh, absolutely. Food is very critical in matches like this. Well, I've actually lost track of Lucanus. Oh, Sage is on deck in a set of leather armor with TNT on his hand. I'm trying to curious what he's planning to do here. Oh, he destroys Lucanus' bed. Oh. <laughs> so the reverse of what we said might happen happened with an ally destroying Lucanus' spawn point. You have to make those beds known to your team. It's very critical. He is using a lot of TNT. This is going to lag the server hardcore when he blows this up. I'm a, I'm a little curious as to why he's placing down so much, but... I He just wants to destroy know. their whole boat. It looks like he's oh, been caught by cue ball though, but it's too late. He's detonated it. Here we go. Major damage. Oh wow, that is a that is a significant. That is amount. an exposed chest. Oh, that. there's some ender pearls located in the chest here that Sage took. Oh, Sage he's just he off. takes all the supplies and just jumps off, destroying even more supplies oh, for well Pug and Chug. By Sage, oh. Pug Pug and Chug's gonna be trouble if if this keeps happening to them, they're not gonna have anything left. Oh, Sage they... actually had set off the TNT located underneath of one of the other cannons, doing even more damage. I'm actually fairly certain that uh, no, they didn't. She was fine. They didn't have any swords to begin with. Like, because remember, Lucanus raided the early chess, so I don't think they had any iron swords. They didn't. Uh, Lucanus had just taken those outright. Oh, look at oh, this. this. Just passing this each is, other. There's a significant amount of items underneath of the core that was just picked up by Matt. Uh, the contents seem to be uh, at least diamond armor, some this, diamond swords. This is a risk. You can't beat someone with diamond armor, Lucanus. Oh, he might just go for the core here. Yeah, he's going for the core. Oh, here we go. I think the team... Oh, here comes Matt coming up from behind. Oh, no, but he doesn't see him because he's crouched. It looks like he's going to get one. Whether he gets two or not is depending on how much Puck and Chuck's paying attention. Oh, and there goes the weather. When you're playing against a team like Tom Fortress 2, you want to keep constant tabs on your core just in case. Two team they members coming they down. both come to look, <laughs> but they just they don't actually take a look, and we we've already lost one core. This is going to be game another sneaky kill by Tom Fortress Two, and the game's going to end. And, and what the sad thing is, Punk and Truck has decided now is the time to go on the aggressive, but they're going to lose before they even get the chance to even attack here. It's quite a shame. Oh, and here comes Cue Ball. The game's oh, too, too late. late. The game's already over. If Cue Ball had one more second, he would have won. It was actually kind of foolish for Tom Fortress 2 to actually kill members of uh, Pug and Chug there. They, you know, if if they, they just kept him kiting, then the, they yeah, been, they should they should have like Lucanus should have been really clear. He should have been saying, "Give me 10 seconds, we win the game." Because if you kill someone and they respawn right next to the core, well, then you just screw over Lucanus. So, a great game by uh, Tom Fortress 2. I mean, again. Puck and Chuck didn't do anything wrong, but they just didn't do anything right. Yeah. Um, we just if if they get a if they can figure out what strategy they want to go for, because it seems like they try several strategies at once instead of just going for one. 
I think that um, Sage blowing up the top of the of Pug and Chug's base with all the TNT and Lucanus coming in afterwards, I think that is part of Tom Fortress 2 strategy because they did use that yesterday and they also won through that same strategy. I don't I don't know what that really accomplishes though. I guess I the only it's more of a distractionary tactic to think, oh look, this is all destroyed quick, now we can get them. Uh, like it really it, well it really like the nice thing was it made it made a lot more sense when Sage just after he did that cuz he was only in leather armor so he obviously didn't bring a lot of supplies to then just jump onto their supply chest that was busted open and then take us everything he could and just kill himself cuz that's like more valuable than anything else he could have done he could have killed like two or three team members then died on their side and that would have been nowhere near as useful to their team as just taking out the supplies, but it looks like they didn't even need to win the War of Attrition because they ended up getting that really, really easy, really sneaky win from Lucanus just backstabbing their team. And you know what the sad <laughs> thing was? I'm pretty sure that had they have killed Lucanus and then gone on the aggressive there, they would have won. I think they would have. Because um, they were in the base. Yeah, they Punk and Chuck was in the base with diamond armor and. Like like Tom Fortress 2, though, like well, like we said, for some reason, ten minutes into the game, they don't have everyone decked out in diamond. I mean, one person completely dedicated to that can do that, and we saw the medic was working on it, but I don't know if he was slow, or if he was being PvP pressure, or if he was just working on too many things. But like, for example, they had Gearwax working the entire game on uh, shooting people with bows, but you can still do other stuff. I mean, you can scout and harass the other team while doing other things, be it they cannons seem to be very, or... They seem to be very dedicated to their roles that they've picked up from their skins. From the from Team <laughs> Fortress 2, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised, the, I'm surprised the medic's just not running around tossing heal potions to teammates. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that happening. Oh...